What's up guys, Coach Alex here. Here for another video, we're gonna add on to our four on four defense, our shell drill. Okay? You guys haven't done so, and we'll see our first video, we'll go over our ball, our gap, and our help, our, just our basic positioning. We're gonna add on to all of that stuff today. Let's get right to it. All right, so we're gonna start right back into our four out set. We got four guys out on offense, which would be our guys in red, and we got our four guys in defense, those would be our guys in green. So, like in our first video, we always got our, our guy on the ball, okay? Arms length away, force him towards that, to force him towards that baseline, trying to make sure the ball does not go middle, okay? Starting back with our gap guys, we're one pass away right here. Our gap guy is gonna play off the line. He's not up, he's back. He's making sure that if a pass were to happen, he can cover without a drive happening, or if another drive were to happen, he can stop that, okay? So with that, so let's say that drive does happen. Drive goes down middle, right? He's gonna stop the ball. We got a ball guy's gonna stay on the ball almost like a double team, and we wanna force the ball out of his hands. At this point, drive's not there because we got our help, we got our gap guy there. He's gonna kick it out, which means we can rotate back and rotate back and be able to cover again. Okay. Let's keep the ball back on the wing. Let's keep the ball on the wing. So let's go over a baseline drive. So what we really want in this defense is we wanna get a baseline drive, right? When the ball goes down the middle, a lot of easy shots can happen. Um, a basketball player is in a more comfortable situation. If a guy goes baseline, he has less space to work with. It's a little bit tougher for him to make uh, a make a good basketball decision when he's doing that. So let's say our guy gets beat down the baseline, he gets all the way through, okay? We don't want him to score that easy layup, so that's what our help guys are for, okay? So that's that's gonna be our bottom help guy right here. So our bottom help guy, this is his job right now, is to stop the ball. That's his job. Anytime the ball gets to the paint, he's gotta stop him. His job is to make sure the ball does not go inside the paint. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna slide over and he's gonna wall up and he's gonna protect anything that's outside that paint, okay? So now we have a guy right here that's wide open for a backdoor cut, okay? We are gonna, we're gonna, we call this help the helper or cover down, which our, our top help is now gonna rotate back down and help out the guy who just helped, right? We call this help the helper, we call this help the helper. Now we got a diagonal pass wide open, okay? We got a diagonal pass wide open. This guy could cut right down the middle and, and be able to get an easy shot. We don't want that to happen. So my guy that was in gap was guarding up here. He's gonna drop back into what's called our diagonal help, and he's gonna take away that pass coming across right here, okay? So baseline drive happens, the defense is collapsing and making sure nothing happens inside and we're trying to force the ball out, okay? Let's say this guy recovers, we stop him, ball gets swung back, okay? Now all of our defense is, we're below the free throw line right now. We were just protecting the paint. Now we gotta, now we gotta get out on a shooter. So like we were going over in the first video, closest guy to the ball is gonna stop him, okay? Then we're gonna communicate a little bit, okay? My help side guy is probably gonna be talking with these guys over here saying, I'm gonna take the gap, okay? And now we're gonna communicate here saying, okay, I'm gonna stick with my man who just beat me, you're gonna go back to your man, okay? But he's not gonna go all the way back to his man, right? He's two passes away, he's gonna stay in help, he's gonna stay in gap, and we're right back to where we just started, okay? Let's say we get it swung, and we get it swung, okay? We're gonna stop the ball, we're dropping into gap, dropping into help, dropping into help. Baseline drive happens on the other side, okay? We're stopping him, that's our help. We gotta have our help the helper of our cover down, and then we're gonna have our diagonal guys slide over, making sure that pass doesn't get through, okay? We'll recover, we'll kick out, and then we'll be able to rotate. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Make sure you guys watch the first video as well as this video if you wanna make sure that you're continuing to understand a 4v4 man-to-man -man shell and man-to-man -man rotations when you're on the basketball floor. Stay with it, keep working hard. Hope to get in the gym soon. Elite together.